You boil some water, put the tea bag in it. Yeah, somewhat. Okay, we'll use some tap water here. The tap water in that one, and tap water in this one. And you might need to remind me which type of tap water in. Because as we noticed earlier, I get sidetracked really easy if I see something shiny. Okay. And in these cups, we're going to put the conging water. Why do you need to put the conging water in? Okay. <coughs> so you need, usually you need heat to bring out tea out of the tea bag, to extract the tea from the bag. I'm going to go ahead and put this tea bag in here. Let it sit in here for a second. So that's just normal cold tap water. Who thinks it's going to make a nice cup of tea? Nobody, probably not. Okay. So let's start to pull it out a little bit. You get a little bit of, of uh, residue in there. And this is the Kangen water with the 9.5. And remember, this is demonstrating the microclustering of the water. So what this water is going to do, it's going to actually permeate right into that tea bag and hit, those, hit the tea and actually pull out tea right away. It'll start making tea instantly. You see? And then you could be like, well, you got it wet over there, so they put it in that one and it pulled out the tea, but we can put it right back in the tap water and it's not going to do anything. Then you put it right back in the common water again and it'll immediately start pulling out tea out of there. And so that's what's happening on a cellular level inside of your body is that this water is able to transfer into the cells a lot smoother. And anything you take with it, any kind of vitamins, supplements, minerals, anything, is going to be absorbed greater through that process as well. Um, and that's why we recommend if you take any kind of time-release medication, don't take it with this water, because it will be absorbed. It won't be time-released anymore, let's just say that. <laughs>